everyone welcome back to another video today we are going to do a massive coloring book haul again because I have had several new books sent to me some of them are new releases some of them are books that I picked up other ones are books that were gifted to my daughter who is now coloring and I've got quite a few to show you. I also wanted to announce that I have started giving private coloring classes. They are going really, really well. I am so glad that I decided to do this. I have been teaching coloring classes over Zoom all day long and Oh my gosh, it's just wonderful for everybody on both sides. I really enjoy doing it. Everybody is learning so much, and this is something that I am going to continue to keep doing. I'm starting right now with private coloring classes, which are one-on-one -on -one via Zoom, so they are much more personal. And then I'm going to start to move into group coloring classes, which I will schedule in the very near future. If you are interested in joining my coloring classes, you will find the information you need in the description box below. Below. You can email me at coloringwithpamela at gmail.com and I would be glad to share with you all of the information that you need so that we could get you signed up for a class or two. I am offering different lengths of classes making it affordable for everybody as well as bundled options if you want to go that route and most people are actually taking two classes a week and so it's working out wonderfully and this is what I'm doing when I'm not filming <laughs> and I love it so let's go ahead and get into this massive coloring book haul I have I believe seven or eight books I've got these here that you can see and then I have more over to the side let's go ahead and get started because this is going to be a complete flip through with commentary of every single book so go ahead and grab your snacks or whatever it is you need so you could sit back and relax and hopefully you find some coloring books that you really like and you want to purchase for yourself and of course as always I will have links to all of these coloring books in the description box below let's go ahead and get into this video so this first book is whimsical world big book coloring book a hundred illustrations to color by Molly Harrison and this book was actually gifted to my daughter from a wonderful member in my uh, Facebook group who was so generous to send her these things just to make her feel a little bit better because she has actually started coloring just so that she could relax a little bit like we all do so let's go ahead and get into the flip through of this book and check out these adorable images we have a little mermaid here and oh gosh this page would be wonderful for coloring bubbles look at that and they are just circles so you could really practice your skills there if you've not already seen it i actually have a video on my channel where i have a tutorial for bubbles and i will link that in the upper right hand corner so that you can go and check that out and you don't need a coloring page or anything to be able to follow with that tutorial. You can just draw some circles down on a piece of paper and follow along with the tutorial. So here we have an adorable little witch. And these might be images that are compiled all in one book of some of her other books. Because I have one of her other books. And I'm recognizing, like this one looks familiar. I am recognizing some of these from the book that I already have. This is so cute. But there's a lot of really great practice in this book. I see lots of clouds. And of course we had the bubbles. We have flowers. We've got fairy wings. I actually did a tutorial where I showed you how to color iridescent fairy wings. Here's more fairy wings. That tutorial I'll link up in the upper right hand corner too because if you are wanting to color fairy wings that is a really great way to color them so that they really stand out and look glittery and sparkly and beautiful. Look how cute these images are. I absolutely love these. Yeah, I remember this one from the book that I have. So I think that this is a compilation of 
a few of the images from her other books. So if you don't already have one of her books, this may be a great place to start. Yes, I remember this one because I actually colored this one. This was actually one of the first pages that I ever colored when I started coloring. Her images are adorable though, and I don't hear a lot of talk about Molly Harrison a whole lot, like in the, you know, in the Facebook groups and such, and I don't see a lot of her images shared too often, but she's got some really cute artwork. Look how cute this is, the little mermaid in the um, wine glass or goblet, but look how cute that is. And this is really great practice for glass, for her tail and the scales on her tail, and also for the liquid that is inside of the glass. Oh, and then what about hair and skin? And you're not coloring a whole lot of hair and skin. So that leaves you with some good practice because you just have smaller areas to be able to color. A little fairy laying on the moon. These are so cute. Oh, look at her pajamas and a rainbow. That would be fun to color. And then we've got some Halloween images in here. Another fairy. I'm going to start flipping through this a little bit quicker. But if I'm going too quick through the flip throughs, you have a little dial down at the bottom that looks like a little gear. And you can click on that and you can actually slow your videos down. You can speed your videos up or put them really at any speed that you would like to so that you can watch through. So if I'm going too fast for you, or even too slow for you, you have choices and can speed it up or slow it down. Look how cute. Now, this is on the Amazon paper. So the Amazon paper, we all know, is a little bit thinner, but it does have a little bit of tooth. You would be fine coloring right in the book. If you didn't want to color in the book, you always have other options. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that my favorite paper is the Spring Hill paper. I always have that linked down in the description box below so that you can easily find that on Amazon. It comes in 67 pound and 80 pound and if you like more tooth in a thicker paper I would go with the 80 pound paper and if you don't want to spend a lot of time with that paper uh, blending and layering then I would go with probably the 67 pound version of it. Once you go through the link and you click, you'll see that you have options to be able to click on and choose the weight of the paper that you prefer. There are a lot of images in this book. Like I said, or showed you at the beginning, there are a hundred in here and that's a lot. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at this. Wow. Oh, so let's get back to paper. So if y'all saw my video, where I just recently uploaded one where I was coloring hair. Oh, here's one where we have to sort of flip it around. So if you watched my very recent video, you saw that I was testing out a new paper for colored pencils. If you didn't already see that video, I will link it in the upper right hand corner so you could go check it out but I'm not going to reveal it in this video. I want you all to go watch my video. <laughs> because that video was a really great hair tutorial. It was a picture by Mariola Budek that she sent me a portrait and absolutely beautiful. Here, let me go ahead and actually show that to you. And I've actually gone in and I started coloring more of the hair. And I'm really loving how this is turning out, but it's my video where I showed you how to color uh, fiery red hair. And my grandson has hair like this. And I pulled up a picture of him. I sort of used him to match up the colors. <laughs> and I love how it turned out. Love, love, love how it turned out. So let's turn this this way so you could see this image. But if you didn't already see that video, that's a really great one because it's going to really show you how to color hair. I show you the color combination and everything. And if you want to get over on Etsy and go to find Mariola Budek's store, she's got some beautiful images, lots of hair practice and skin. And she even also sent me her little mermaids packet, which is very, very cute. And I'll probably be coloring that one soon too. 
Look at the adorable images in this book though. I'm just like, I don't know, talking about everything because people didn't want me to set these videos to music. They got really upset when I set these videos to music and said, no, we want to hear you talk. <laughs> and then I get the music really annoyed me and I'm like, okay, so I guess I'll talk. And y'all know I could talk forever, so I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> Look how cute these images are, though. Look how pretty. We've got some little flowers here, and she's like out in a field. And we've got leaves to color, so more leaf practice. Oh my gosh, this book, I'm going to be turning up and down, up and down, because it constantly goes horizontal and then vertical. And I think this is going to be one long video. There is, there's got to be more than 100 images in here. We can color some sunflowers on that page. Oh, look how cute she is in her little costume. Oh, and then we have a bunny. Okay, so coloring fur. Those of you that want to practice coloring fur, that's a really great page. And the rainbow. Oh, and we have another bunny. Her bunny drawings are adorable. And then a little fairy. Is that a fairy? No, just a girl, not a fairy, but sitting on a moon. This one's cute, another fairy. Oh, that's adorable. Another fairy. So there's lots of fairies in this book. If you want to practice coloring fairy wings, this is definitely the book for you because not only are you coloring fairy wings, you get to practice your hair. There's lots of scenery. You get to practice some skin. This would be a fun page to color. Look at that one. And you could actually, it looks like she's sleeping on a flower, yeah, on a flower. So you could actually take this, well, I, think, I love how she made the flower look sort of like a pillow. Doesn't it look more like a pillow than a flower? And if you wanted to change that, you could actually add all of your own creativity into there and make it look more like a flower, giving it a lot more depth and dimension. So here we have another little witch. So she's got some of the stuff from like, I believe she has a book that is specific to Halloween pictures. And so she's got a lot of these or a lot of those mixed in here as well. And we're coming to the end. That's a really cool looking sun. Oh, look at the little mermaid. That's adorable. I love those fish. And then another fairy. And we're getting very close to the end of this one now. And that is the end. And then, of course, on the back of the book, she just shows you some of the different images that you can find in this book. Actually, wait, let me see. 100 pages of cuteness from Whimsical World. Whims okay, so she is telling you exactly what's in this book. So this book is a combination of Whimsical World 2, Whimsical World 3, Whimsical World 4, and Whimsical Spring. So you're getting all of that all bundled into one book and let me see I think this book actually is 1999 I think I did check and I'm pretty sure it's 1999 on Amazon which that's a really good price because you're getting a lot of images in this book and I always like to suggest pencils for each book and since this one is on the Amazon paper a lot of these that I'm showing you today are on the Amazon paper a few of them so for the Amazon paper I always like to suggest the Caran uh, Pablo pencils work beautifully in these books and I love my Prismacolors in these books and I can't think I think the Castle Arts as well work really well in these books if you all have tested your Castle Arts I actually have used my Castle Arts in a Jade Summer book and it is the same paper that's in these books and they worked beautifully in there. So if you've used the Castle Art colored pencils on the Amazon paper and the Amazon printed books, let me know in the comments below and share that with other people because I love when you all create commentary down in the comments section because when you do, it really helps others. And I know that people are going down there and reading through the comments because I go to YouTube videos and I read through all of the comments. And if you interact with one another down there in the comments, 
it really helps other colorists to discover things that they may like, you know, and I know that we do a lot of that in the Facebook group, but the comment section of a YouTube video where we're showing certain uh, particular things and people are wondering if they're really going to like them, that's a great place to do that as well. So this one is by Ava Brown, and Ava Brown actually sent me a, cu a couple books, so I think the next section of this video is going to be, we'll do all the Ava Brown books. So this one is Beach Life, and this one won't take me as long to flip through, but of course this one is on the Amazon paper as well. Now I did one video where I did all Ava Brown coloring books and it was all specific to Ava Brown because they sent me a ton of books to show and so I just put them all in one video. So their books have a color test page at the front of the book and then of course here you've got all of their information, their website, and everything else and then it says this book also includes a free digital copy that you can print out at home for instructions in your access code go to the last page so of course I'm not going to show you the last page for this book but if you wanted to use your favorite paper you have the option to go to their website or to go to the back page and get a code but it gives you the code to go in there and download the coloring page or the um, the whole entire book so you're not only getting the book so that you could keep it for your collection, you can also print the pages out. So like I said, this book is called Beach Life. This is the first page. So they're gonna be all images just specific to the beach. And these are really beautiful, look at that. So if you like scenery, I'm sure there's gonna be some other things in here aside from scenery. And as far as the pencils that work best in this book, I would suggest the same exact things that I suggested for the last book, because like I said, all of these are printed on the Amazon paper. Here we have another scenic picture. These are really nice. Oh, look at the little outside tiki bar. Tiki tours, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, and then we, oh, this, look at this big, huge jar of shells. Imagination. <laughs> I love it. And then we've got some birds to color. We got some little tiki huts out there off the pier. Oh, and a jacuzzi while she just sits over here and lounges in her lounge chair. This here would be really fun to color the top of these little like tiki type houses. You could really uh, bring in some browns or different shades of browns and really bring those to life and add a lot of depth and dimension with your colored pencils. It looks like there is maybe a storm coming or something in this one with all these lines here, possibly? I don't know. I'm just using my imagination of what I see in the artwork. <laughs> and then what do we have here? I don't know, maybe that is just the way that the artist does things in this book because this to me looks more like a storm is coming or like storm clouds and you could color it any way that you would like to color it. That is the whole point of bringing your own creativity to a coloring page, right? So let's go ahead and start flipping through this a little bit faster and I'll just talk about certain things on some of the pages that really stand out to me. But Oh, this would be fun. Sand, you don't see this too often in a whole lot of coloring books, but since they're building a sand castle using the sand, you would have to find some way to show the different shaded areas and where the light is and the highlights and all of that. So that would be fun to color. And then we have another little like tiki bar. There's some really cute images in here. Oh, look at the flamingos. And then palm trees. Palm trees are fun to color. Oh, and then we have the ocean and they have a little fire here going. Oh, now this is really great practice here. We've got this building and we've got all these stepping stones here. And then we've got the little bench, a parrot. Oh, underwater snorkeling, that is fun. Oh, look at her just sitting in her little beach chair off the palm tree. Now that palm tree is sideways. Are palm trees usually sideways? <laughs> I don't know, I'm from Florida and I've never seen a sideways palm tree. So that's creative <laughs> and interesting to say the least. <laughs> I mean, sometimes they slant, but never like that. Oh, okay, so that is how this book is gonna work. We are going to have 
half of the book with the original images and then the duplicate pages are going to start here. So it says we provide double pages so you can color your favorite images twice using different techniques. So that's really great for practice. And then of course you can go get the link or the code, the access code at the back of the book and the download link and you will find exactly where you can go so that you could print the entire book out. So that gives you another option. You can color these pages an endless amount of times. And then if we go to the back, you're going to see that it just shows the images that are in the book. So that was Beach Life by Ava Brown. This one they sent me and I thought this one was really interesting. I thought this was actually really cool. Luxury Backyards. I've never seen a book like this before and I was really anxious to flip through this. And y'all know when I do these flip throughs and I do these like massive coloring hauls for these companies and such and put them all into one video. I don't look through the books. I get them and I put them off in a corner in my office. And isn't the front cover beautiful? I love the colors in the front cover. But I put them off in a corner in my office or my filming studio, art studio, whatever you'd like to call it. And I just leave them there and I put them all in a pile for when I collect enough of them so that I can do another one of these videos for y'all. Okay, so I zoomed you in a little bit. I think, yeah, this book I think is going to be all landscape portraits. But look at the architecture in this. Is this not the coolest thing? Look at how there is a reflection in the water. Like, you would have to get really creative. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how I would color that. That is so different. I've never seen, oh, after I zoomed you in and turned the other way. Now we're gonna have one that is vertical <laughs> or portrait. <laughs> Look at the, oh my goodness, is it like that through the whole book? That is so different. Okay, so if any of you all have any ideas on how to color a reflection like that in water, you're gonna have to let me know. This one is going to be a little bit difficult to do this flip through because of the angle of the book. <laughs> but like I said earlier, this one is also on the Amazon paper. But again, with this one, you are able to go to the um, Ava Brown Etsy store. I'm pretty sure it's an Etsy store and download your own copy. It will have a link in the back of the book with an access code and you just go there and you get another copy of the book and you print it out on any paper that you would like to. Oh wow, look at that realistic looking grass. And then here we have another reflection in the pool. Oh my goodness, so I would think that if I were coloring this, I would color the water here inside the pool and I would make, I don't know, I think I would probably use my Posca pen. I would make certain areas of look, cer certain areas of the water look as though they were different shades of blue just to give it a little bit of depth and dimension in the water and make it look a little bit reflective the, in the actual water. And then I would come back here where the reflection is and I would color the exact reflection that is down here a lighter shade of what I colored up here using the same exact colors but just doing a much lighter value of those colors and I think that would turn out really really nice but this is really cool I mean it's exactly what it is like luxury backyards very different from what I've ever seen those of you that want to get into coloring architecture this would be a great place to start. And then we are on our duplicate pages. So the rest of the book is going to be exactly the same. So we have another Ava Brown book. I believe this is all for the Ava Brown of what I've got so far. This one is tattoos and I know Jade Summer puts out a lot of tattoos book. So we'll look through this and we'll see how this one differs from the Jade Summer books. I know so many of us love coloring tattoos because tattoos or these books that contain what we would think would be tattoos. There are so many different variations and so many different things that you could have as a tattoo. And so these books have a lot of variety in them.
And I did check to the back of the other book and it is an actual link to Ava Brown's website that will take it. So you will go to the website and then it has a code where you could download from the website. But I'm pretty sure that they do also have an Etsy store. Okay, so I actually just stopped the camera and I went off to check because I wanted to give you all the right information. But they do have an Etsy store. So if you wanted to go to their Etsy store and purchase copies of their books, you can do so for only $3.99. It's actually called Ava Brown Books and I will also link that in the description box below for them so that you can find it easily. And this is just gonna be like I said, there's gonna be a huge variety probably in here, and there is, because tattoos can really be anything. I love this one. I think that is one of my favorite ones. This is the one that is actually on the front cover of the book. So we have a bird and a crown with some flowers. Well, that's different. <laughs> A horse with a skeleton face. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of freaky. <laughs> and then we have this rabbit, but I don't know, that rabbit to me looks kind of scary. Look at his face and his eyes. <laughs> ah, I love this one. This reminds me of the color along I did in the Hannah Carlson book where I colored the potion bottles because it's got all these bubbles in here and it, hers didn't have any bubbles so I actually had to create them and get really artistic and add them to the bottle with the liquid. If you didn't already see that, I'll put that in the, in the um, upper right hand corner so you could check that video out. But that's really cool because that page already had it all drawn in for you and you just need to color it. Some of these are very different. There's, yeah, there's a huge variety in here of lots of different things. Here we have a bird with a witch hat. <laughs> And then a skeleton with some flowers. And then we have more birds and flowers. What was that, a ferret? Is that a ferret? You'll have to let me know in the comments because I'm not sure, but I think that might be a ferret over flowers. And an hourglass with some flowers. There's lots of flowers in this book. So if you're into coloring flowers, you may really enjoy this book. And then like an image like this, this would be really cool because you would totally make this part of the image, the focal point and color that in and then make everything just kind of more, you know, like lighter behind it and really color this with a contrasting color. So it just sort of pops off the page. And then we have where the duplicate pages start. So that is the end of tattoos. And of course we have some of the images here on the back that are in the book. So I have one by Jade Summers, just talking about Jade Summer. I forgot that I had one of their coloring books in the stack. So we have Jade Summer and this one is just called Easy Coloring Book. And I will admit I did look through this one just a little bit because I wanted to see what was in here because yeah, <laughs> I always get two copies of these and sometimes I give them to my grandkids. So I wanted to look through here since it was an easy coloring book and I wanted to see if it was something that my grandkids would enjoy. But as with, all, oh, this one has a, oh, this is different grayscale. I remember, rem yes, I remember that now from when I did flip through it and I only looked at a couple of the pages just because I wanted to see, um, you know, what, the theme was of this book because I had assumed it was a lot of flowers and I don't think that it is a lot of flowers. I think that there's other things in here. We'll see as we flip through. I don't remember. I just know that I did look through it for like a half a second. But um, so we've got flowers in a vase and then the grayscale is very different in this book. And then as with all the Jade Summer books, you've got the black um, on the back of the image and it's like that through the entire book. Oh, here we have a clock and you could see that these are easier because we've got a lot of really wide spacing in this book. 
Oh, yes, I remember seeing this one because I remember thinking, oh, my grandson would love this because there's a cat in here. So, yeah, there's many, there are different things. Like, it's an easy coloring book, and it's not just flowers. There is a good variety in here. Here's a sandwich. That looks like it would actually be fun to color. And then we have a bird. And the grayscale in here, like, you can use this grayscale as a guide so that you know where to lay your highlights and your shadows. And this is really, really cool. Because if you, if you bought this for, like, I know the images are really, like, kid-like or kid-friendly. And so if you purchase this book and you gave it to like, you know, like I would probably give it to my grandkids so they could color. But this is really helpful for the kids because they can look at this grayscale and that will help them as well know where to lay their colors and really start to understand how, um, you know, creating an art works in that way. And I don't know, artistry in general and colors and where to lay your colors. But there's some really cute things in here. I like this page. Look at this big strawberries. And there's so much open space on these pages. A paint palette. And then we have ice cream. Now that would be a lot of fun to color for anyone. Oh, and then a really cute fish. And then we've got more bubble practice. And there, there is a lot of creativity that is going into these pages, even though this is what they would consider an easy coloring book. I really feel like this coloring book would be great for anyone, whether it's a child or it's a beginner colorist that's just learning how to color because this grayscale would be a really great guide on where to lay the colors. Like, look at where the grayscale is laying on this here, on this instrument. So you can see that there is, let me hold this a little bit closer because I just want to show y'all, but you can see how this grayscale is laid out and this would really help you. If you put your dark colors where the darker grayscale is and you sort of blended those colors in after you laid them down and then came back and burnished them together, you're going to see a lot of texture in that instrument and it's going to make it look much more realistic. Oh, this is cute. So we've got some popcorn and some 3D glasses and a squirrel or is that a chipmunk? chipmunk <laughs> that was so cute we have a little like potted plant and look at the shovel is in the shape of a heart <laughs> that's so fun and on this one you could do a really cool background there is a lot of space on this one for background practice oh look at this this would be great to practice your texture like coloring furniture and such and then maybe adding a little bit of shine to some of this china that is there the dishes here we have flowers so we do have some flowers in here but we've got lots of other things look at the butterfly i'm sure y'all could see that i'm not going to flip the book back but that would be a lot of fun to color and look at how the grayscale is all laid out and then we've got a crown we've got some pumpkins and y'all, if you didn't already see it, I just did a pumpkin tutorial showing you how to use your grays. You can, if you have this book, use it for this page. And then we have a butterfly. Oh, how pretty, a butterfly on flowers. And a watermelon with a banana. I really like this book. I don't feel like this book is just for beginners or just for kids. I feel like this book can be for for anyone, even though it is called Easy Coloring Book. Look at that adorable turtle. Oh, how cute. And then we have a little teacup and some leaves. Oh, this would be great leaf practice. And look how... Oh, I can't get over the shading in this book. Like this is, this grayscale is so different from their other grayscale books. And I don't know, maybe they have a new artist or something, or they just did it in a different way. I don't know, but I love the way the grayscale is laid in this book. And it's not too dark. It's, it's I don't know, it's just like perfect. It's got, it actually looks like it only has three tones, which is really good too, because I see some darker grayscale right up in here and then the second shade of grayscale and then we've got our white where we would lay our highlights and I like that they put all of the 
um, landscape ones all in one section at least it looks that way so when I had to turn the book it looks like the rest of them maybe watch after I said that that they're not going to be and then I'll be like what now I don't want to turn the page <laughs> Okay, so we have cookies. It is still landscape. That's great. And we've got succulents and a cow and some mushrooms. Oh, we have a little latte with the little heart that they do like when you go to a coffee shop. And then we've got some wintry clothes, a mitten and a scarf and a hat. Did I skip a page? I don't think I did. And then we have a duck. Okay, so we have some cupcakes. And I think we are at the end. Is this the last page? Yeah, we have cupcakes and then their information page. Add to the back that just tells you you could purchase digital editions if you go to their website so you could get them printed out in a PDF. You can join their email list or you can go to their Facebook group and share your artwork. And don't forget to come to my Facebook group and share your artwork there <laughs> because I love to see. Okay, so let's see what we have next. Okay, so next I have Color It's New Release. And I don't know if I mentioned, but all those books by Ava Brown, I'm going to need to go check and I will let you know. Um, I think that I could let you know when I edit the video, but all of those books may be new releases because like the Beach Life one for the Ava Brown that I showed you, that is pretty much at the top of their Etsy store when I look. So I think that that might be one of their newer books. I'll have to go back and check. But this one here is definitely a new release. The Easy Coloring from Jade Summer, that is actually one of their newest books as well. And again, everything will be linked in the description box below. So this one is still wrapped up as you can see. So y'all know that I've not seen it. This is definitely a new release. This is their newest one that just came out and it's called Colorful Flowers Volume 2 and it is still wrapped up. So you all get to unwrap it with me in this video. <laughs> and I'm excited to look through this one because you all know how much I love flowers. And it says Colorful Flowers Volume 2 so I'm assuming that they had released another uh, flower one prior to this, but I've not seen that one. Now, the paper, as with all of the color books, I've showed lots of color books on my channel before. I'm hoping that this one is not flipped back and forth like the last one was <laughs> because it's so hard to do that in a video. But I have showed a lot of color it, um, coloring books in my videos, and so y'all know that they are all spiral bound up here at the top and so they flip this way and then it says colorful flowers volume 2 wildflowers gardens and bouquets 50 original hand-drawn designs adult coloring books so there's going to be 50 pictures in here and their paper is a smoother paper i like to suggest when i am showing y'all the color it books they're fine to use colored pencils in. My Prismas work beautifully in them, but when I'm using my Prisma colors, I always lay marker down, alcohol markers down first. And right now, I don't know when I'm getting this video up, but right now it's Prime Day deals and I've been sharing all of the deals all day, today, yesterday, yesterday and today in my Facebook group. So I hope y'all are finding some really great deals and Ohuhu is having a huge sale, better than ever. And they were even having a sale last week. So I know a lot of you are picking up those markers. So if you picked up those markers and you like this book, this is going to be a great book for your alcohol markers. You've got your um, initial page here where you get where you have uh, this book belongs to. And then, okay, so it looks like this may be a lot of scenery. We'll see as we get through. Now the pages are perforated up here at the top. So you can tear these pages out and frame them if you want to do that. We have more than just scenery. We've got a beautiful page of sunflowers here, lots of leaves and things. So here's a beautiful one with birds and bees and flowers. Have another scenic picture. Lots of very intricate detail on this one. 
And see, something like that, that's great for your markers too because it's a much quicker color. If you have to go in all these intricate places uh, with your colored pencils, that can take absolutely forever. And I don't know, alcohol markers are sometimes when you just want to get a page done, you want to get it um, done quickly, you get it done so much quicker when you use uh, alcohol markers. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time coloring a particular page and I just want to get something done like one, two, three quick, I will lay my alcohol markers down and then I will come back and I'll go over them and add all the shadows and even sometimes more highlights and such with my colored pencils. But that is a great way to get around it and save some time. There's some really pretty images in here. If you like to color flowers, you may really love this book. Oh, look how pretty. Look at the wagon with the sunflowers. Are those some? Yeah, I think those are sunflowers. Sunflowers are like my favorite. Oh, and then we have a fence pack here. So that is a really great practice. You can color that fence and do just like what I said and use your alcohol markers and go over the entire fence and then come back and create all the textures and stuff that would be in the woodwork of the fence and create all of that with your colored pencils. We had some butterflies there. Y'all know how much I love butterflies. I love coloring butterflies and flowers. Those are like some of my favorite things to color. We have a lot of things here or like baskets and different things and then we have the fence. So there are a lot of images in here, another fence here. So you can practice creating your texture on some of these pages and then you've got a lot of flower practice too. There's some really cool images in this book. Oh look at this one, this is different. And look at those leaves. Oh now this is really intricate. Look at this page. Oh my goodness, I would love to see this like fully colored in <laughs> just because I think it would be absolutely beautiful once you added color to that. It would look so realistic. Look at this page. Okay, so which direction is this one? I think it's supposed to be, yeah, I think it's supposed to be this way. <laughs> oh, I like this one. I think it's like within a picture frame. And then it's got flowers surrounding it. That is so creative. Oh, and then we have this chair. What is this? A chair of a queen <laughs> with a bouquet of flowers in it. So pretty. Oh, and this one's more like a flower mandala. Oh, and then we have a Volkswagen bug. Look how cute with just flowers all over it. Love, love, love. And then we have some wine glasses with a basket full of flowers. So that's what you're gonna get in this book, basically, is a lot of flowers. We've got some scenery. We have that one that looks sort of like a framed-in portrait, which was really super cool. Lots of sunflowers. We've got a few pages with butterflies. Oh, and this one's different. We've got the flowers, but we've got a pair of shoes here, and the flowers are inside the shoes. So then we have another scenery, another page of scenery, and then a bird. Oh, and another scenic one. This is very cool. Look at the border. That is very, very cool. Do we have a boat full of flowers? That is different. <laughs> Every time I do these books, I feel like I'm constantly flipping. <laughs> Uh, Y'all could probably hear all of that in the background. My kids are going to be excited because they just got their AirPods delivered. I have two college kids now. Scary. <laughs> and they're trying to get all their stuff ready for college. Okay, so we've got some stairs with flowers. And more. Oh, look at the little frog peeping out there. <laughs> Love You Bunch with a bunch of bouquets. It looks like a little flower shop or something. I don't know. And this looks like it would be the same. Like, I don't know, maybe. Free your creativity, live, love, laugh. And then all the words or the positive affirmation type of words are sort of cut off. And then we go back this way. And we have a very like old fashioned typewriter with flowers on it. And then we have a building with lots of flowers. 
and then it looks like we are at the end of the book and if we look at the back of the book it's just another picture of I think this picture was actually yeah because I remember all this border around there but that is one of the pictures that was inside the book and then it just says flowers have a language of their own each blossom can be beautiful expression of can be a beautiful expression of love friendship admiration or gratitude step into the fascinating world of flowers with color it's colorful flowers volume 2 wildflowers gardens and bouquets with 50 lifelike illustrations of delightful flower scenes let your inspiration flow and your imagination bloom as you color exquisite bouquets lush gardens and dreamy fields of wildflowers go on and express yourself with flowers let your creativity flourish and bring life to these beautiful blossoms so that was Color It's new release, Colorful Flowers, and this one's volume two. The next one I have, these are a couple books that, like I said, my daughter has now started coloring, my 18-year-old daughter, and she is really enjoying it. And so she picked up a, color, a couple coloring books the other day when I did my um, Shop With Me video. If you guys have not already seen that video, you need to go back and check that video out because that video was a lot of fun. But I'm gonna, I wanted to be able to flip through these so y'all can see them. She let me borrow them just for the flip through. <laughs> so that was nice of her, right? Because you know how these teenagers are with their stuff. Like, don't touch my stuff. <laughs> No, really, she's not like that. Oh, it looks like she started coloring something. She said she didn't color anything in this book yet. Oh, well, she started. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, these Mythographic Series books are one of those um, books where you have to find hidden objects. And so there's little hidden objects all throughout the um, pages of each one like here there is an elephant that is hiding within a tree and everything is really really intricate and the paper in these books it has a little bit of tooth but it is on the smoother side so I would say that aside from colored pencils this book would be fantastic to use your gel pens and your alcohol markers and if you wanted to like I suggested with the color it book if you wanted to lay down your alcohol markers and come back and lay your pencils over it, that would be a really good choice as well. And what else? You can use your colored pencils, and I would suggest as far as colored pencils, I tend to find that the polychromos tend to lay down better on smoother papers. And so when I am coloring in a book that is or where the paper is smoother, I tend to pull out my uh, my polychromos because I was doing a tutorial one day in the Erie coloring book and I had to pull out my polychromos for some reason. It was a tutorial, I can't remember exactly for what, but when I discovered how the polychromos lay down on the smoother paper, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> So maybe I shouldn't be using my Prismacolors <laughs> in this book, but I've been meaning to get back to that book and color an entire page in that book, but I've just not had the time. So I've been trying to bring y'all more videos where I am actually coloring rather than showing things in a lot of these videos. And I want to sort of intermix those with more coloring. And of course, I always take suggestions. So if you have suggestions for videos, let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love this book though. This is, these, I don't know, it's, it's just so creative. Like it's different. And it reminds me a little bit of Kirby Rosanis. I think that's how you say his name. Um, but it's a little bit along the same lines. It reminds me a lot of Worlds Within Worlds. Oh, I'm all, I'm looking at this page and I'm like looking at these streaming things right here. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, how I can color those. And use my Posca, possibly with like my cream colored. Um, oh yes, yes. I'm See, I'm getting all these ideas. And that's how you know when there is a page that you want to color. When you look at a page in a coloring book and all of the ideas for that page start flowing and start coming, 
that is the page that you want to sit down grab your pencils and just color and then make sure you take the time to plan out your pages i'm getting ready to put something in my etsy store where it is kind of a worksheet that helps you to plan out your pages i've been working on it a little bit over the past couple days i've been working on a few different things but I wanted to create a worksheet where I sort of help people and ask questions on this worksheet that you could answer and go through so that when you get ready to sit down and plan out your coloring pages, you get an idea as to what exactly you want to do on that coloring page. And if you didn't already see it, I also have a video on my channel where I show you how to plan out your coloring pages. And I don't think that I could link anything else in this video. So if you just go back on my channel and you search for that, you will find it. But in the back of this book, then it has the what I would call an answer key where it shows you all the hidden objects revealed. And so it shows you each and every page. And I'm not going to flip through that because I don't want you all to see the answers. So hopefully you saw it just that for that quick minute. <laughs> But that is Mythographic Color and Discover Odyssey. And then my daughter picked up for herself another one of the Mythographic books. And this is the last one I have for you. I love the cover on this book. The cover on this book is just all kinds of beautiful. And I love how it has the blues and the greens. And then how this gold just sort of pops out from all of that. It's just beautiful. And yes, we picked up these books at Target because we saved more money than what the Amazon deal was or when Amazon was having that promotion. And they were doing the buy three books and get one of them for free. We actually saved money by going to Target because somebody in my Facebook group said, you can go to Target and get the same deal. And they've got a few coloring books there. So we went over there in my shop with me to see what they had. Oh, and I'm just noticing now, was it like that in the other book? This one, the pages are perforated. Let me see if the other one was like that. Yeah, so the pages are perforated in these books. And that's really cool. I love books with perforated pages because you can actually pull the pages out of your book and color them if you want to. If you don't like leaning on the book or if you want to be able to pull it out uh, to frame it or if you want to pull it out just so you can make a copy of it, but I don't know. There's a lot of benefits to having the perforations there in these coloring books. And I don't ever take apart my coloring books, but I know that some people do pull out the pages. I like to keep my coloring books as, I don't know, part of my collection, I guess I would say. And then when I do color, I use my own paper. But look at this is really pretty. Oh my gosh, I, I might have to go and grab this book. And Amazon is actually doing a sale right now too on coloring books still. I think it's buy one, get one 50% off for um, Prime Day deals. And so yeah, there is still, there's been a lot of great deals going on for these coloring books. And these Mythographic series books, these are always included. Oh wow, that is a very cool image. That is so different and creative. There is just, I don't know, the thought process as an artist that goes into some of these pages and some of these books and specifically the first ones that come to mind are um, Kirby Rosanis and these mythographic series but the thought process I'm pretty creative and I don't think that I could come up with some of these ideas as an artist to be able to put them into an image like some of these artists do. I don't know, y'all have to tell me what you think in the comments below, but look how different this is. Like who would even think of something like this? I mean, it almost looks like they're just like in outer space and everything is exploding and I don't know, like this futuristic car. It's just so, so cool and creative. And to look at this one, like these look like half butterfly and half bee and half dragonfly. I don't even know what. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then here it looks like the picture is actually going this direction. And I don't even know how I would draw something like that. Here we have a camel and lots of other things surrounding it that you wouldn't even think would be surrounding a camel. And then of course a camel is all fancy looking with palm trees and 
everything else. Here we have a whale looking like he's just sort of jumping out of some non-existent world. <laughs> I don't know. But these images are just so different and creative. And then, of course, you have all of the little images on each page that you can find if you wanted to do that. And maybe you wanted to go through this book and get a certain color and use that one certain color to go through the entire book and color only the images in the um, or the objects on the page that are hidden in that color. And that would be a really cool idea to do in these. I see a lot of outer space stuff in this book, but then like we've got this big, what looks like a wave here. That is so different. And then lots of books over, looks kind of like a schoolhouse and then the books are just overpiled. Actually, it looks like a building made out of books. And then of course we've got all our little like, that. I guess that's why it's called Frozen Fantasies. You've got all your little uh, snowflakes over here. Oh wow, look at the penguins. I love penguins. If you love penguins, you need to let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love penguins. Anytime I go to like an aquarium or something and I take the kids, like we don't go see the penguins for the kids. <laughs> we go see the penguins because I want to see the penguins. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I really like this book. I've never actually flipped through here before. And I don't know why. I just, I don't know. It's like, oh, and I'm not going to show you all that part. But you know that that's the answer key. And so that's a no-no. <laughs> but then it just talks a little bit about the book here on this back page. And I know I'm going to butcher the artist's name, but Fabiana... Atan Atanasio? Atanasio? I don't know. Y'all have to tell me how to say that because I really don't know how to say that. But um, I believe it's the same artist in this book. Actually, this one has a different artist and I'll probably butcher that one too. But this one is the Odyssey book and this one is by Joseph Katenbang. Katenbang? I might have said that one right. And I would assume, I don't know, how does... The artwork looks so much like, I mean, they look so much alike, and but they have two different artists. So like, I don't know, somebody explain that to me. How do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. But that is Mythographic Frozen Fantasies. And I really loved that book. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what you thought of that book. And I do not like how Target puts these little stickers on here. I hope if that, if this is not my coloring book, it's my daughter's, but I don't know, I might have to try to take that off from her and I hope that doesn't ruin the color the cover of her coloring book because the cover is so beautiful. Look at all the coloring books. <laughs> oh, I love setting these up at the end of my videos and I, I don't know, it just, it brings me so much happiness. Does this bring y'all happiness? <laughs> Okay, so that was a lot of coloring books, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you would like to join me for some private coloring classes on Zoom, those are now available. So check the description box below, and let's get you signed up for your first coloring class or even two. I have bundle options too, so... And I try to make them affordable for everyone. So send me a message, email me, or... Even leave me a comment below and I'll tell you how to get a hold of me and we can talk about getting you set up with some coloring classes and the group coloring classes will be coming. I know a lot of you are requesting those, but I feel like those are going to be a little bit more difficult to schedule because we have to coordinate everybody's schedules in one for me to hold those classes. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Everything that you saw in this video will be in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.